hi um i apologize for the probably pretty bad lighting also archie is like joining us for this video uh we moved i talked about this in my last video so things have been pretty hectic i'm sorry also if you can hear the dishwasher please let me know if that's too loud and i won't film while the dishwasher is running in the future i have a thrift haul for you today we actually moved pretty close to a goodwill uh, which is super exciting so i popped in we popped into the Goodwill probably a couple of times over the last like week that we've been here and I kind of have a collective haul of everything. Uh, if you're new here, I have an antique booth. I sell vintage home decor stuff at the antique booth and then I sell clothes and like some shoes, not a lot of shoes on eBay and Poshmark. So I have a combination of both home decor and clothing that I picked up at this Goodwill. It's all from the same one, uh, just like we went a few different times. All right, I'm gonna start with one of the home decor items. I found these false graph salt and pepper shakers. I really find this print, I honestly don't know what this one is called. I usually find the Yorktown, which is like the grayish and blue colored one, but I never find this one. So I wanted to see how the salt and pepper shakers did in my booth. Uh, Kathy, if you're seeing this, family friend Kathy, if you're watching this, uh, if you want those salt and pepper shakers, let me know because I think you had mentioned you were looking for some pieces from that collection. So just let me know. First clothing item I have is this Free People Movement pair of leggings just like a maroon color. These were $6.99. And then I did find a few bras. I always go through the bra section. They tend to sell pretty well. Uh, this one is a Victoria's Secret size 36C. Uh, it was $2.99, just like a blue lace print. And then this one is also a Victoria's Secret. This tag though, I'll show it to you. Um, this Victoria's Secret tag, if it's gonna focus on it, is like the early 2000s tag so um i label ones with this tag as like y2k 2000s bras that dishwasher is so noisy i'm so sorry but this is what that one that looks like i think this was also 2.99 yeah i had never heard of this brand it is called pronto uomo i think that's how you say it but it is 100 percent wool and i briefly looked it up and it seems like comps were in like the 30s plus so i ended up picking this up for 6.99 I think that the jeans were like lacking that day, the jeans and activewear, so I was going through the tops, which I rarely do. This is a vintage Liz Claiborne jacket that I'm kind of obsessed with. It's kind of like a, not velvet, but like soft material, kind of like that. Um, and with the whole like Barbie thing coming out, that Barbie movie coming out, and I really like this pink. I think it might do well on Poshmark or eBay. It was $6.99, took a gamble on that. I'm now re realizing that both of those tags are green and they just switched the tag color to green this week. So I, if I like waited a few days on those, I could have gotten them for half off, but that's okay. Okay, we have moved locations. I was editing this video, it's the same day, so that's why I look the same, but I was editing this video and I realized that the dishwasher was super loud for like the second half of the video and I just decided I needed to redo it instead of making you guys listen to the dishwasher because it was really annoying. I told you guys, guys I just moved, we're kind of in Dalton's kind of office space. The camera's on his desk, that's his stuff in the corner. Um, the light is his, all of this stuff is his, except this is my clothing rack. I also already took the price tags off because I was gonna go list them, so I'm gonna guesstimate. <laughs> um, but this I got for myself, it is just from Target. They're like all in motion line. Um, I live in these active wear tops. It's like shocking that I'm not wearing one today, uh, but I really like the color. I think that this was probably around $6.99. And then I did find another home decor item, this Winnie the Pooh piggy bank. I'm gonna let it focus. Uh, this was $5.99. I Dalton actually picked this up and I thought it was the cutest thing ever. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet. I'm not pregnant. I don't have any kids, but this was too cute to leave and I don't know if I'm gonna save it for the future or give it to someone for like a baby shower or something. Okay, next up, I got a ton of bras at this Goodwill. They're kind of like lower down, like the shelf is like, like they have some of the active wear and then the bras are kind of along the floor and to look, you either have to like bend over or, or like sit on the ground so i feel like not a lot of people go through them very often at this goodwill so i think that's why i tend to find a lot here these three are actually all everything's already hung up now too so it's kind of gonna be nicer but these are actually all new tags savage x fenty i think they're all the same size i think they're all two x's there's a purple one this black one with butterflies and then this blue one if they're all the same size, I may lot them together on Poshmark. I have not checked comps yet, but I did grab them because they're new tags. They were $4.99 a piece. 
Next, I grabbed this free people bralette. It's red with some hearts on it. I believe that this was $5.99 or $6.99. It is a size extra small. I had seen another day that this Goodwill had the same one in a gray color, but they had it because I grabbed it, but then they had it marked up to $14.99, so I left it. Uh, but then I found this one, priced a lot lower, so ended up picking that one up. I already showed you those two bras. I picked up this Victoria's Secret bra. This one, I believe, was $2.99. It is a 32B, and it also has kind of that early 2000s Victoria's Secret tag. I also can tell that they're like the earlier 2000s if they have this thin hook closure at the back because I think that the all of the newer ones have the thick ones. I think Dalton's computer just lit up. I think I hit something. Sorry. <laughs> this is another Victoria's Secret bra that was $2.99. One of these actually might have been half off for like $1.50 but this has some like lace on the top. It's another one of the 2000s ones and this is a 36C. I picked this up based on style. Uh, it is the brand Auden, which I know is sold at Target. It doesn't retail for like a lot of money. Uh, I have actually some Auden stuff myself and I really like it. They, I always see it. I always see such cute styles. This was only $2.99, so I kind of just grabbed it to test the waters and see if the brand has any resale value at all. I didn't look it up. Just grabbed it for three and we'll see how it does. I then found this Lululemon sports bra. This was mixed in with the bras. Uh, this is a, the tag is cut out, but I can read. It's a little faded, but it is a 32, no, sorry, a 34D. I'm glad I found the size because this was probably going to be very difficult to guesstimate the size on. I know that they're hidden sometimes on size dots, like on the inside, but that one I couldn't find it anywhere besides the like faded spot. I think we talked about those two. I picked up this pair of American Eagle shorts. Uh, they're just like a tan corduroy color. These were only $4, which feels low for the th this thrift store. Or really three, they were either three or $4. So I ended up grabbing those. I can definitely make just like a little bit of money on those. I grabbed a pair of Levi's, a classic pair of 501s with the button fly in the front. They are a size 27. I love Levi's. I think I'm actually wearing a pair of Levi's 501s. I bought these ones at the outlet though, so I spent probably too much money on it, even though it was at the outlet. Uh, this is a pair of Vigoth shorts. I sell their jeans if I can find them cheap enough. They don't sell for a ton, probably like $19 to $28 around there, but depending on the style. I've never picked up their shorts before, but these were the three or four dollars like the other pair, so I wanted to give the shorts a try. See how they did this is my first time finding this brand it is balance athletica you can tell that the logo is like a little triangle on the back uh i have heard i think i've heard mogi beth talk about this brand in her haul videos if you don't follow her you should be her videos her what solds her haul videos her ship with me's are so informative uh, i learned a lot of brands from there but i picked up this pair of dalmatian print leggings they're so cute they're size extra small i believe they were 6.99 or 7.99 i feel like it's a rare print i saw one poshmark listing in a medium i think they were listed at like 50 or 60 dollars and then like a few sold but not too many so i'm not sure what i'm gonna list them at yet and i've had a few people dm me on instagram about them so i'm not sure if they're gonna make it to poshmark but wanted to i was excited to find that brand honestly i kind of like this haul format them hanging up feels more organized <laughs> I then got two pairs. I kind of feel like I'm doing a whatnot show, honestly. I got two pairs of Gymshark leggings, this green pair and this purple pair. The purple one says Gymshark across the top back. And this green pair is just like plain green. Uh, they're both a pretty small size, especially this one. I think one might have been $7.99 and one $6.99. I have this pair of Gymshark leggings in a tan color and I really like them. I might hold on to this pair a little for like a little bit before I sell them, but I haven't decided. We'll see if they fit me. I feel like Gymshark is so hit or miss. I know that like a lot of people talk about it and I like to wear it when we go to the gym and I've searched on Poshmark for stuff in my size before and it looks pretty pricey. Uh, so like the, the resale value it can be hit or miss I guess depending on the style I don't have like a ton of experience selling it but there are some that sell for like super little and some that sell like pretty decent so we'll see how that stuff does both of these are lululemon this one has it, the dot on the back and then I think this one on the leg uh they were probably both $6.99 a piece I think that somebody donated their like someone had a really great athletic wear style and donated their whole collection because there was also 
a Psycho Bunny pair of sweatpants, which is a brand I had never heard of, never picked up until I saw it on Instagram recently. I can't remember who posted about it, but they have some pretty good, like decent comps on Poshmark, but the pair of sweatpants was like a cream color and it was worn and super stained, so I had to pass. And then I also found like seven pairs of Fleo leggings, which I have picked up in the past based on, I didn't recognize that brand when I first found it, but I looked it up and comps were good. And then I think I picked up four pairs and now, now Dalton's computer is talking to me. <laughs> I picked up four pairs and they all sold for like over $30 super fast. So I was excited because I found like seven pairs at this Goodwill, but they were all super pilly, super worn, and some had paint stains. So I had to pass on every pair and that was super disappointing. Same with uh, two pairs of Beyond Yoga leggings I had to pass on due to wear. I pick up some things that are a little bit worn, uh, but there's like a point it gets to where I'm like, that's, that's a little too worn. Don't want to sell that don't want to pay seven dollars for it because it won't be that big of a profit margin based on the wear so somebody donated their whole collection though i actually found another pair of lululemon pants i'm assuming it's the same person because they're all like this a similar size this is actually a pair of yoga pants wide legs flare leggings whatever they're called now i think this was 6.99 they all look like super similar pretty small sizes then i picked up two pairs of Abercrombie and Fitch jeans. They are both a high rise straight leg style. This is the style I have been looking for the most lately. I was picking up like every pair of this like newer tag Abercrombie and Fitch jeans, especially the Curve Love. The Curve Love does the best. Neither of these are Curve Love, but still grabbed these based on style. I think that when I was grabbing all of them with that tag in the beginning, I was picking up some skinny jeans and skinny jeans just like aren't as in style anymore and not what people are looking for so I think that these styles tend to do the best I was actually just talking to someone on Instagram about this uh if you go to Poshmark if you're like wondering more about Abercrombie jeans in the resale value just because it seems like a brand that didn't have a great resale value in the past if you go on Poshmark and sort by Abercrombie Fitch jeans sold high to low you can see kind of the styles that people are looking for I think like the 90s straight leg is like a popular one uh, i typically start the jeans out around 59 dollars on poshmark and ebay and then like leave room for some offers uh, i'll list higher if it's like a super on trend style that i see selling for like more money than that but typically the straight leg ones like those i'll list around 59 dollars and then if it's like a less sought after style uh probably around 49 it also depends if they're curve love i think you can get more money for them if they are curve love which i wanted to love for myself but i they don't fit me right the curve love ones are just like too high waist on me because i am not curvy <laughs> okay the last two items this one is a pair of madewell jeans just like a skinny white jean i think these were probably seven nine eight ninety nine eight ninety nine uh, same thing with this pair of frame jeans. They're just a light wash. I think they're a slim straight. It says slim on the inside. Uh, these are a size 31. I think they were also $8.99. So that's another thing. Uh, the Goodwills around that we used to go to at our old apartment, all of the jeans were like $12.99 and up, even for basic like American Eagle jeans. Uh, so I've been noticing at this one, some of the jeans are $8.99, which is amazing. I probably paid maybe 12 for the Abercrombie jeans, but the frame and the Madewell were $8.99. And I have one more home decor item. Um, I picked up, Dalton actually found these. They're just a like vintage wall hanging trivet set. I think this is cruel. I think that's what it's called. Uh, but this is a like basket of tomatoes and this is an onion and a pepper. It would be super cute in a kitchen. So those are getting added to my antique booth. All right. That is the haul. That is everything I picked up. I hope you enjoyed it. I am probably going to be posting a lot more hauls just because we live so close to a Goodwill. Going to try to get back to the bins. Things have just been so hectic with moving and I didn't have, I don't have my photo station set up yet. We just got this clothing rack set up. So we're still figuring out where everything's going. This apartment is a little bit smaller than our last one. So we're really trying to figure out where we want to put everything. Uh, but those are the updates. This, I showed you the office. I'll show you actually. So Dalton put his inventory out. This is his shelf, by the way, please. <laughs> uh, Dalton put his inventory out in the garage, but mine actually fits in the, this closet, which is super nice. Ignore the mess. I'm still organizing, um, but I have a little shipping station there, but Everything actually fits in this closet, which is super amazing. Uh, there is a shelf that fits these boxes better, I think, from Sam's that I'm going to get. Um, and that will just, I think they'll all fit like on that one. So we'll have a little bit more space over here. Excited that my inventory can all be here. We don't have a storage unit anymore. His 
inventory actually all fits in the garage. We got a garage that's like the size of two cars. So there's plenty of space there for all of his stuff. He can clean the shoes down there. Everything, the shoes never come up to the apartment. Archie's still sitting there. Hi! Uh, please ignore the mess. But if you follow me on Instagram, you saw my stories. We actually got this couch at Goodwill the other day. Literally like the day after we first moved in, we were bringing the big furniture over and Dalton popped over to Goodwill and found this couch for 150 bucks. Tag's actually probably still on it. <laughs> Let me, yeah. It was 150 bucks. They had just put it on the floor that morning. It was so clean. He texted me that they had it. He sent me a picture. I ran over there and like looked at it. It was super clean. I was like, yeah, we're, we need to get this couch. So he like grabbed the tag off of it. And by the time he got to the register, someone else was already asking about the couch. So we're so happy we had the tag, but we got it here. I washed the cushion covers and stuff and sanitized the rest. And it is so pretty. I'm so excited about it. We've always wanted a sectional. And it's just fitting that it came from Goodwill. But yeah, I think that those are all of the updates. You, If you follow me on Instagram, you're probably seeing a lot more kind of behind the scenes. It's super messy in here. It's like slowly coming together. Shout out Ikea bags. Archie really just wanted to be center of attention. All right, I'm gonna get back to editing this video. If you liked this haul and want to see another one, you can click right here. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.